beginning the book of Vayikra this week. The book of Vayikra, the Chumash of Vayikra, Leviticus, deals with, begins uh, with the laws of the Korbanas, the sacrifices, the offerings that were brought in the temple in Yerushalayim and in the Mishkan, in the tabernacle in the desert. And one of the laws, which is the very, very beginning, is that a person has to be someone who has regretted their sin in order to bring a sin offering. The person cannot be someone who is embedded and continuously doing a sin and bringing the sin offering at the same time. It just doesn't work that way. Bringing a sin offering, praying, giving charity, etc., when you are still doing that which is wrong, is not acceptable. For example, also, if a person does a mitzvah, but they do the mitzvah the, the, through doing a sin, you steal uh, branches to put on your sukkah. You're not fulfilling the commandment. What we call a to'eva, it's an abomination. The same is true if you are studying with your chivrusa and hence spreading the virus, your Torah learning is useless. If you, are, if you are davening in a minion, you're praying with a quorum, and you think, wow, this is great, I'm praying with the community. But at the same time, by doing that, you're spreading a virus, putting people's life in danger, killing people, then your prayers are useless. Tfilosoi to'eva, your prayers are an abomination. If you attend an event and make people happy because it's a simcha, but there's too many people at the event, it goes beyond health department's requirements, then... What you think is a mitzvah is a huge sin. Keep it in mind, folks. Doing a mitzvah doesn't automatically mean that you can ignore every other consideration. A mitzvah, a Torah commandment, learning Torah, praying, etc., etc., all these things have to be done according to the laws of the Torah. And the law of the Torah requires that we take care of our health, that we not be reckless, we not be careless, we take care of other people's health as well, and not be murderers, third-hand murderers. So therefore, don't think that by doing the mitzvah, you are protected, because on the contrary, you're actually not doing a mitzvah. You are transgressing a serious sin, and consequently take this into account. A person, Mesir Ozno Mishma Torah, a person who doesn't listen to the Torah, Gam Tfilosoi To'eva, his prayers are also an abomination. I feel obligated to say this because the percentages of infection in the Orthodox Jewish population are very high, much higher than they should be. And uh, I have a feeling that it's because of some people's misguided uh, understanding, some people's ignorance, some people's maybe it's stupidity, but people ignoring the guidelines of health departments around the world. Follow the guidelines. You'll be fulfilling a very great mitzvah, which is, you are guarding your soul. The Chayb of the Torah tells us, these are the commandments that you shall do, that a man shall do, and live by them. You're supposed to live by the commandments, not die by them. Let us hope that by fulfilling the mitzvah of Vinishmartin guarding our souls, fulfilling the mitzvah of living through the Torah, we will bring life to ourselves and to the entire world. This is Mordechai Becha with the Gateways Parsha Vlog.